Hey everybody, uh, this uh, lesson will get us ready for your upcoming test. So some sample kind of questions. So let's go ahead and simplify the expression. This is on exponents and radicals. So here's the first one. Uh, so simplifying doesn't mean evaluate. Evaluate means they want a numeric answer. So this one's just simplified. So here we're going to add the exponents. Now if there's no exponents there, it's understood to be a 1 right there. So we're going to go ahead and add uh, 5 plus 1 plus 3. And then 5 plus 1 plus 3 is 9. So it's 5 to the ninth. Okay. And it, 5 to the ninth is a huge number. Um, most calculators can't even uh, give you a number that you would recognize. It gives you um, some decimals on there because it's just, um, and then you'll see a little e on there probably means uh, it's an exponent. Anyway, so just 5 to the ninth is good. Okay, here we have a fraction that's being raised to the uh, negative power. So if we just flip the fraction, it becomes a positive power right there. And then uh, typically we, we float the negative with the top, okay? Don't float it with the bottom. Fo uh, always put the negative on top. So I'm going to do negative 5 to the third and then the, the denominator 2 to the third also, okay? So uh, negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5 is negative 125. Uh, all over 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Okay, sometimes they float that negative out in front of the fraction. In fact, uh, most times they do. You'll probably see this answer, but this answer is okay. And since it says simplify, you guys, um, uh, I would even take that answer on the test also because uh, evaluate means to give the numeric answer, but uh, simplify just says give your answer in like, exponents, I guess. Okay, here we guys, uh, we have uh, 1 over p to the 9th times p to the 15th. So we can go ahead and cancel 9 p's downstairs. Takes away 9 of those 15 upstairs, so there's 6 left. So the answer is p to the 6th, okay? All right, this one here, okay. In this parenthesis, everything gets raised to the 4th power. In this parenthesis, everything gets raised to the 2nd power, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so uh, 3 to the 4th is 81, and then powers raised to powers, I'm going to multiply these. So 4 times 2 is 8, uh, 3 times 2 is 6. Over here, this is going to be y to the 12th right here. This is going to become 81. This is going to become 4 right here, okay? Um, uh, and again, if you left it as 3 to the 4th times 2 to the 5th, I'd probably take that because it just says simplify. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and multiply 81 times 4. And then uh, we're going to go ahead now and, and add these exponents. 12 plus 6 is going to give us 18 right there. So uh, I get 324x to the 8th over y to the 18th. Okay? All right, so this one here is uh, we have a radical. We have a fraction inside a radical. So we can't have fractions inside of radicals in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2. So I teach it to do prime factorization. So 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. Now I need two of a kind on the inside that brings one on the outside. So if we multiply that fraction by 1, uh, but my 1 is going to be root 3 over root 3. That way we get uh, two pairs of 3s on the inside. Okay, and it'll bring a couple of pairs of 3s. And I circled them here in black, and I circled these two in red. You brought one uh, 3 out and brought another one 3 out. So up on top, 5 times 3 is 15, so it's root 15 uh, all over 3 times 3, which is 9. Root 15 over 9 is the answer, okay? You can have radicals on top, but you can't have them in the bottom. All right, this one says evaluate, so we want uh, numeric answers. Okay, 1 over 3 to the negative 3 is going to be uh, equal to 3 to the positive 3. Remember, it goes upstairs and becomes a positive exponent. And then 3 cubed is 27. Okay, 5 to the negative 2 times 5 squared. There's uh, several ways to do this problem, you guys. I think I'm too, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add the exponents first, you guys. So negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, and then flip this down in the denominator, and it becomes a positive 3. So 1 over, to the, 1 over 5 to the positive 3, and 5 to the third is 125. So 1 over 125. Okay, here. Uh, I think, uh, and again, you can do these a couple of ways, two or three different ways. I think I'm going to flip these guys right off the bat. Yep. Okay, and then now I'm going to go ahead and subtract those exponents. Four downstairs will take away four of the six upstairs, so we're left with set, uh, two seven. so seven squared is uh, 49. Okay. Uh, okay, anything raised to the zero power equals one. Okay, now be careful. If this negative was outside the parentheses right here, then the negative would not be included to the zero power. So it would be negative one if the negative was floating outside the parentheses. But here it's inside, so everything to the zero power equals one right there. Okay, here 
we have to simplify that square root of 99. So the factor trees, uh, 9 times 11, and 9 is 3 times 3. So the square root of 99 is the square root of 3 times 3 times 3, and you got it. A pair of 3's come out, so it's 3 root 11. So we'll go ahead and put 3 root 11 over here for this square root of 99. So then we have uh, 2 root 11 plus 3 root 11 gives us 5 of those root 11's, okay? So you can combine like radicals, just like you can combine like terms, okay? Okay, here we're going to distribute, you guys. We're going to distribute this 4 root 6 through. So 4 root 6 times 5 root 6. 4 root 6 times root 600, and then we got some simplifying there. Okay, and so uh, multiply the 4 times 4, the outer numbers, and multiply the root 6 times root 6, the inner numbers right there. Okay, here's this 4 right here, and then inside numbers is going to be this root 6 times 600. All right, and then we're going to break down that 600. And I didn't go all the way to the prime factors on that. I stopped at 6 times 10 times 10 because these two 10s are going to bring one 10 on the outside. And then this 6 will pair up with this 6 right here. So two 6s will bring one 6 out. Okay, so here we go. 4 times 5 and then times this 6. Two 6s on this guy brought this one 6 out. And then uh, here's the 600 right here, 6 times 10 times 10, okay? And then these two 6s will bring one 6 out. These two 10s will bring one 10 out. Okay, let's go ahead and multiply. 4 times 5 is 20. Uh, 20 times 6, well, 2 times 6 is 12. So 20 times 6 is 12 with a 0 or 120. Okay, over here, these two 6s brought this out. These two 10s brought this out. And then just multiply. Uh, 4 times 6 is 24. 24 times 10 is uh, 240. So 120 minus 240 is negative 120. All right, how about this one here? Okay, real common algebra error is kids want to square this and square this and think they're done. When you have a binomial squared, you got to write that twice, and then we got to foil that out. So here we go. We're going to foil that out. First times first, outer times outer. Here's the first term times the first term. That's this over here. Here's the outer term times the outer term. That's this guy right here. The inner, I'm sorry, the inner times the inner. That's this guy right here. And then finally, the last term in this one times the last term in this one right here. Uh, where is that one? Uh, I don't have that right there. This, that should be this one right here. So did I do that right? Yeah, I'm sorry. This this guy should go right there. Okay, so sorry. That's a little bit off right there. But this is correct down here. Okay, so we're going to multiply 3 times 3. And then uh, and then root 2 times root 2. The inners go together. Here I have a positive times a negative. So that's a negative. Here I have a negative times a positive. So that's a negative. And then here I have a negative times a negative. That's a positive right there. Okay, and put all the outers together and the inners together. Here a couple of 2's brings 1, 2 out, so 3 times 3 times 2, which is 9 times 2, which is 18. Here, uh, this is going to get me negative 21 root 2. Here's another minus 21 root 2. Okay, so uh, clean all that up, and we end up with uh, 69 minus 42 root 2. All right. Okay, this one, 27 to the negative 4 thirds power is going to be 1 over 27 to the positive 4 thirds power. And then we'll put this in radical form. Remember, this denominator right here is the index to the square root. So it's uh, the cube root of 27 to the fourth power right there. The cube root of 27 is 3, so 3 to the fourth, 1 over 3 to the fourth, and then uh, 3 to the fourth is 81, so it's 1 over 81, okay? All right, okay, find the missing length. Here's the Pythagorean theorem. So the 30 is the hypotenuse. So this guy squared plus this guy squared equals this guy squared. I think I did it all in one step. Yeah, I did. 18 squared is 324, and we subtract that. And then 24 times 24 is 576. And, and you can break this down to uh, prime factorization, you guys. It just there's a lot of numbers. In fact, there's, uh, uh, what is that? There's going to be six twos and uh, I think think uh, two three something like that inside the radical anyway so or if you have a calculator just hit your square root button so okay simplify the expression right answers using only positive exponents so I got a couple of these okay here I'm gonna go ahead and um, uh, do powers to powers first and square those so when I multiply one-third times two I get two-thirds okay that's all I did is I just multiplied this power times this power got two-thirds right here okay and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and and uh, uh, slip that down. Uh, whoops, this should be a Y right here. I'm sorry. This is a Y. Sorry. My bad. As you students say, this should be a Y. Let me change that real quick. That's a Y. This is a Y. Sorry. So I added those exponents. 
I was mixing two problems at once right there. So now um, I have negative 7 thirds plus 2 thirds is going to be a negative 5 thirds, okay? And then it says write answers using positive exponents, so it's going to give us 1 over 5 to the, uh, uh, 1 over y to the positive 5 thirds, okay? These are still y's right there. I'm going to just move along. I'll change that later. Okay, uh, now that's all correct right there. We're going to go ahead and, um, uh, let's see, I have exponents. They wanted us to change it using positive exponents. So let's change this uh, square root to a, an exponent, you guys. Remember, the square root of x, the index number is supposed to be a 2 if there's no number there, and then that's x to the first. So the square root of x is x to the 1 half right there. So there's the x to the 1 half. Okay, and then what I did was I did power raised to power on this. 6 times negative 1 third is negative 6 thirds, which is negative 2. So I just changed this to an exponent and then uh, powers to powers, okay? And then, um, uh, let's see, what did I do here? I, I, yeah, I slid the negative uh, exponents, so, so this went downstairs and then this went upstairs right there. Okay, so there's the x squared and then the y to the positive 3 halves goes downstairs. Now all i got to do is add these exponents on top. So 2 plus a half is uh, 4 halves plus 1 half, which is 5 halves. So we get x to the 5 halves over y to the 3 halves. Okay, now if you want extra practice, I probably won't collect this the next day, but there's some extra practice and the odds, the answers are usually in the back of the book. Okay, all right, you guys, good luck on your test and take care.